Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your second week of January reading start from the 8th through the 14th of January 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. But before I get into the reading, let me remind you it is going to be a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So just pick whatever resonates with you in your situation and leave the rest. Uh, the energies could come reversed as well because again it's the general reading. So if you are willing to get a personal reading done for yourself, then you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. Um, if you haven't checked your uh, year 2020 reading, I will be leaving the link to that video in the comment section. You can check your video for year 2020 read. And uh, if you are willing to book your um, personalized year 2020 read, you can check out the description box for further details on that. That reading is available only till the end of January. So if you really want to book your reading done, uh, then you know you have to do it before January ends. So I won't be taking any, um, you know, um, I won't be taking any uh, orders for that reading after January. So yeah, let's see what is coming up for the sign of Sagittarius for the second week starting tomorrow. <clears throat> you do have Ace of Swords. Things are going to come to light to you. Um, I feel like, you know, um, you do have Ten of Cups put over the Ace of Swords. Uh, with Ace of Swords energy, I'm picking up energy of like, you know, um, things that, um, it's 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 going to be the week where you are going to be understanding a few things you would feel like you know there is going to be some sort of synchronicity in everything that is going on in your life uh one thing will lead you to another then i feel like you know you are going to understand the messages coming from the universe through those uh you know synchronicities that you are going to be seeing or maybe uh acknowledging happening in your in your life uh, you know during the second week of uh, january um For some of you, you might be traveling as well. For some of you, you might be traveling, uh, cutting ties from one location. And it's, it's more like, you know, shifting to another location is what I'm picking up with the, with the Ace of Swords. Usually, I don't pick up that energy with this card here. But I am picking up that energy. For some of you, you are going to be leaving behind relationships, situations, people, your home. And you are going to be moving to another country, state, or... Um, um, or just changing location maybe you are just you know uh, changing you know shifting from one place to another but it's going to be a complete um change of um change of energy too for you and um that change that you are going to be doing or having in the second week is going to bring you a lot of other changes too in your life and I feel like you know there will be some changes coming up for you in in your home life as well uh, for some of you you might be getting into a relationship for others of you you might be coming out of a relationship and you are going to meet somebody new with whom you are going to have a new relationship um, but it is definitely going to be something positive the changes that you are going to be seeing or experiencing this week is going to be definitely bringing some positive changes in your life um, for some of you you might be traveling to see your family as well for others of you you might be um traveling to see your partner um mm. but definitely you are going to make new memories this week you know this week is going to be significant for you and um I feel like, you know, there there are going to be certain things happening during this week time, which is going to make you um, think deep about something. It, it can be in your love life, it can be in your work life, it can be something, um, it can be anything to be very honest, but I feel like, you know, that's, that's going to come through for, for some of you as well. 
you are going to have some sort of clarity around around um, around something let's see what else is coming up for you for this week time <clears throat> the star and nine of wands underneath the deck you do have king of wands underneath that king of swords underneath that page of swords underneath that seven of swords underneath that four of pentacles underneath that the high priestess your intuition will be heightened during this time uh but again you really have to be um I would suggest you to eat light so you could receive the messages coming through or understand them better as well because I feel like maybe you will be, you know, you will be getting signs and, you know, uh, synchronicities in your life but you won't be able to pick up those messages clearly. So in terms of, uh, you know, getting the message clear, uh, it will be advisable to, um, to, to eat healthy and light so you could receive the messages you could feel connected to the source as well the more you are going to feel light the more you are going to be uh receiving the downloads from the universe and you would be able to understand those downloads as well so um For some of you, you might be spying on someone or somebody will be spying on you. They might be checking your social media or you might be checking, checking out other, you know, the, there is going to be somebody in your life who is going to be the, you know, the focus of your attention during this week time. You might be checking their social media if, uh, if they are not. Um, I feel like um, for some of you, you might be feeling that during this week time, the universe is going to um, kind of, you know, make you change your focus from one person to another. There is going to be somebody in your life who you are going to go um, getting entrusted in. And maybe that's the person you are going to be checking online. Maybe you are going to be checking that person's social media. There is going to, like, I feel like you will be dealing with two people this week time. There will be, you know, maybe there is going to be one person who you are already in relationship with. And then there is going to be another person. Maybe it's going to, you know, this person is going to enter in your life after you travel. Or uh, maybe after they travel to, to your country, to your homeland, to your, you know, city, area, whatever it is. But I feel like um, there are going to be two people in your life during this week time. One of them is either spying on you or you are spying on either one of them for sure um let's see who this person could be <clears throat> let's see who this person could be Wow, the same two, King of Wands and King of Swords. <sighs> you will be juggling with two people during this week time. And I feel like, you know, both the people that you are going to be having in your life, 
they both are equally interested in you or you are equally interested in them the energies could come reversed as well like i said in the beginning so just pick how it is resonating with you in your situation um but i feel like you know the only difference would be one is ready to uh, give you emotional fulfillment the other is ready to give you the financial stability it's um it's going to be your call who you want to be with it's going to be your call the universe is going to bring you both the options this week time it will be your it will be your call who you would like to choose out of these two men or women that you are going to be having in your life let's see what else do we have coming up for you for this week time but that's going to be the focus for you this uh, this uh, week wow One is going to be very romantic. The other person is going to be very critical and, you know, analytical too. Like, you know, they will have their, they, they will be very brainy kind of a person. The other person is going to be very romantic, very, um, very, um, very good looking too. Let's see. What else do we have coming up for you for this big time? Chemistry. There is a strong mag magnetic attraction here. So maybe the person that you are that is going to enter into your life, maybe that person is going to be like like I said, this person is going to be very um attractive, uh somebody very charming, somebody very uh hot, somebody who will have the sexual appeal as well. Um I feel like you know, um you know, you, you since you are going to be with, you know, maybe either you are in a relationship with them, with one person or if not, then if you are open to be, you know, to be on the dating sign, uh, side, I feel like, you know, um, uh, even then too, even if you would feel like pulling towards, you know, feel the pull towards this person because you feel like, you know, there is something between the two of you, you are still going to, you know, keep your guards up. You are going to kind of, you know, seeing them from a distance, but you would not approach them there and then. I feel like, you know, there will be this person, entering your life this month uh this uh this week for some of you it might not happen this week maybe it will happen after we after after this week like by because i accidentally said this month so definitely this week is equal to this month but still for some of you this might come uh after you travel so there is going to be somebody new coming in your life for sure whether you are single right now or you are with someone there is going to be a third person entering into your life. There will be another person entering in your life. For those of you who are single, I feel like there will be two people entering in your life. One of them is going to be somebody, um, like I said, somebody very, uh, very practical. The other would be somebody very romantic. Somebody who, um, who, who, uh, who believes in, you know, romance and, you know, stuff like that. Um, who believes in, you know, spending time together. The other person is going to be somebody kind of dry in terms of, you know, emotional, um, you know, somebody who will not be emotionally expressive. Uh, but um, they will be more on the practical side of their life. They, they, they will be like, you know, pretty much into their work, um, you know, somebody career oriented, somebody who believes in quality time than uh, quantity time. But the other person believes in both. So it's that kind of thing. So let's see what else do we have coming up for you for this week time. <clears throat> Four of action. Your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety, contentment and financial security. You deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you have created. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event such as such as an engagement, a wedding, buying a new home or a birth of a child. For some of you, you might be meeting this person at some sort of a gathering if you are going to attend a gathering during this week time. Maybe, like I said, you will be traveling maybe for some of you and it could be a shift, complete shift or it could be, you know, a visit to, to see your family, to see your loved one. Maybe you are going to get attracted towards a person that, you know, a friend of the person that you are dating already. That could be the case for some of you as well. So just pick how it is resonating with you in your situation. Um, let's take um, let's take one card from this deck. Let's see what is 
what it has to add to the reading. I choose love no matter what. Wow. So you are going to choose love for sure. Um, but I feel like, you know, you are going to be very indecisive during this week time. You are not going to be able to choose either one of them. So it's going to be the time where you are going to feel the pull towards a certain person, but you would not be able to um, make a choice between the two people that you would be meeting um, or that you would be dealing with this week. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.